Hi, name's Tony. There's your 1960 Chrysler Imperial Crown. I'm gonna do a little walk around, show you some stuff on it, uh, so you're not having to figure out what to do later on. To open the hood, underneath there, there's a little cable I'll show you from the top. Let's give it a pull down. The latch is underneath. Open it up. If you look here, that's what you're gonna grab. And it falls down, right down inside here. That's how you open the hood. And while we're here, got a big block Chevy. It's a 1984 motorhome, 454 with a turbo 400 transmission. It has 48,000 miles when I pulled it out. The motor runs absolutely perfect. You obviously saw it. It's got the power steering system that works in it, and it's got the factory power steering brakes that are the power brake setup in it that's factory and it works phenomenal. The brakes are perfect all the way around. The suspension's perfect all the way around. Wheel cylinders are perfect all the way around. Um, it doesn't need anything as far as chassis or brakes or suspension at all. Uh, HEI commission and it's all wired up very simply. As you can see over here, it's just wired. It's for functionality, not for cosmetics or aesthetics. It's functionality over purpose. It's got a uh, aftermarket aluminum radiator with a reverse fan on it. Never overheats. Uh, it's pretty much cut and dry underneath the hood. You shut it. Don't be shy. Give a little wiggle, shuts right down. Uh, all the lights work front and rear, the turn signals work. I purposely have some headlights out just because it looks cool. So you can see the turn signals work. And the headlights work. I'm not touching the other high beams, low beams right now. Um, so we come along the side of the car, it's got suicide doors. The window's broken, I left it in there because I think it looks cool, but I have a spare window for it, I'll throw it in the back seat. Uh, remember, the upholstery is fake. You can see the T marks on everything they did. You can see where the fabric's been pulled back and they did it, and it's it's real interior, but they T dyed it, along with the carpet and the floorboards. Um, if we look inside the dash of the car, this is the way they built the car from the fat, not from the factory, from the movie set. The dash is completely fake. It's all fiberglass. It's all fake. Nothing works on the dash at all. The turn signal is the only thing that's functional on there. Um, the way I set it up for starting, it's kind of cool. It's on a remote cable system, just because it's funny. And this is the shifter. This is temporary to build it so we can get this big block Chevy in it so we can drive it. So it's just a push-pull lever. But to start it is just kind of funny because that's how you start it. You can hear it running. Turn it off. Start. This switch has got power so you can put whatever you want on it. I was going to put flamethrowers, but I couldn't do it with the exhaust system because it's too long. So we got an extra power switch. Um, everything on the dash is also purposely built like the Luminani. Everything is an eyeball. So if you look around, you'll see eyeball symbols everywhere. Steering wheel, the dash, the little logos, the mirrors, um, and there's some other things around here with little eyeball logos around. Oh, in the back too. Come around here. So you'll see stuff like this, Luminati eye, and they're throughout the vehicle. And you kind of look around, and you can see it's all the factory upholstery, but they jacked it all up. Flip the camera around here. You can see the interior backside of it. That goes straight to the back seat. That got blown out because the window fell out. I had to make a new plexiglass, put it in there so you could seal it, but that got trashed from the weather. Uh, the way you see it is the way they built it from the movies. Nothing else has really changed inside here, and it's very big, as you can see. I'm six foot one, and I can do this. All right. Um, I'm fixing the window switches tonight, just to show you the windows work. Doing them all. So the windows are electric and they work. And then, that one down over there, keep that one going. They do work. I'm going to put a new window switch in there tonight. Uh, I did lower it with the stock suspension. It's a pretty simple lower. Uh, I'll just do the turn signals in the back because I think they look cool.
These lenses are ridiculously expensive. Protect these with all costs because they're original. The cheapest ones I found used were $750 each used. Protect these lenses. Uh, full exhaust system all the way back. Those are the spark plug flamethrowers I put on there that I can't get to work. Uh, there's no key for the trunk, but I built something really cool. You take your foot, touch the little button on the bottom, the truck opens up. It's that simple. And there's the button right there. This is the fuel tank they had in the movies because you have to run a safety tank with a quick disconnect and an electric fuel pump and no more than I think it's five or ten gallons while running the movie. So you just twist that, open it up, pull your gas out, put your gas in there. Fuel pump is here, fuel filter's here, there's a quick connect. So if you want to drive it, you got to put a gas tank underneath it or inside it. Um, there's a light up here for just looking in the trunk. I put that on there so I can see at night. Um, it drives and runs absolutely phenomenal. I've got no complaints with it. I'm selling it because I don't need it. I got too many toys and I got other projects I want to finish. And uh, again, this is just because it's cool. You go to a car show and people are like, oh, he's got hydro riser, he's got airbags or hydraulics. And you stand there like, you ready, guys? And that's it. They get all excited and so it's just a funny little novelty. Uh, so if you got any questions, you can hit me up and uh, I'll tell you what I know. Oh, another thing. I did tell you everything on the car is fake. The paint, the interior, the rust. All the rust on this car, that is paint. This is painted on rust, right? A lot of the cancer is fake. This, you can see here, was the original paint of the car and they painted over it with the crappy paint. So there's the original paint, nice and smooth. And here, I can rub the chrome off, or the, the rust, with my fingers. And you can see how it's coming back out. So all this was purposely built like that. So it's not that trashed. It's meant to look that trashed. The top did get trashed from sitting outside in the sun forever. So that wasn't in the movie. This is just from age and sun. And that's about it. I'll see if I can get a video underneath it for you so you can see what the bottom side looks like. And uh, thank you very much for buying it. All right, so we're gonna do a video on the underside. Do the best I can with this darkness or the angle of the lights. Uh, suspension's all intact, everything's there. It's in great shape. You can see the motor on this side. Radiator. And I'll go down here. All right, bottom side. Engine transmission. And you can see the exhaust is just uh, pieced together. Doot, doot, doot. Alright, uh, sorry about this, I'm not a great video guy. Okay, and you can see where they cut it in and put new floorboards in. And that's the way I got the car when they built it. I still try to figure it out, but obviously, I'm not sure what manufacturer built it, but it wasn't Chrysler who extended the cars, it was a different company. I'll go back to the frame part again to show you because I'm sure that's pretty interesting. Right there. Right there. Let's take it at a different angle. There's the coils for the flamethrowers and the spark plug wires. I'm just leaving them in there. Took all the wiring out. And obviously that's where the gas tank would go, but I put the mufflers there. And uh, it's currently registered too. And if you got any questions, again, get a hold of me.